If there's one thing true about the apostles, they were always fighting about who was most important. You know, when you're reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you read about the 12 apostles and how often they were arguing about who was most important, it's kind of mind-boggling. You know, uh, when you have these 12 men following our Lord Jesus Christ, and they're all saying, okay, I'm more important. No, I'm more important. It's kind of foolish and silly, but at the same time, it's very human. And, uh, you know, you wonder if they're paying attention on the Sermon on the Mount when the Lord said, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Um, because it's the entire three years they're arguing. Uh, you know, you have James and John who come up to our Lord and they want to sit at the right hand, the left hand of our Lord. And, you know, the apostles get upset with them. And Jesus says to them, you know, those who uh, hold authority in this world like to make their greatness felt. It shall not be so with you. He who wishes to be first among you must be the last. He who wishes to be the greatest must become the lowest and the servant of all. You know, how often our Lord had to say those things to the apostles. Another time when they were arguing over who was most important, uh, Jesus took a child and, you know, stood him in their midst and said, unless you turn to become like children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, this argument among the apostles went all the way until the Last Supper. I mean, they're literally at the Last Supper discussing who's most important. And that's when our Lord has to take off his, take off his outer garment, wrap a towel around his waist, kneel down, and wash the feet of the apostles. He gives that beautiful example of humility, that beautiful example of lowliness. And he says to them, you call me teacher and Lord, for so indeed I am. But if I, your teacher and Lord, wash your feet, you must wash one another's feet. He would ask him, do you understand what I did? Now that became the beautiful model of authority in the church. That, uh, you know, those who hold authority are to be the servants of those for whom they, they have hold authority over. That's why one of the most famous titles for the Pope is the servant of the servants of God. Because he's at the top, he's a servant of the servants. Now, our seraphic father, St. Francis, uh, he just embraced this wholeheartedly. He was always, always very conscious of seeking to take the lowest place. That even though being the founder of the order, he was in charge and he had to make the, make the call on things and call the shots, he always sought to be the lowest. He always sought to serve the rest of the brothers. You know, and when he wrote the rule and he talked about the life, he called the brothers who were in charge the ministers. The general minister of the order is the one who serves the general body of the friars. He's not a general with 12 stars on his shoulder. He's a general who has to get down on his hands and knees and wash the feet of each and every brother. The brother in charge of a province is called the provincial minister. Um, the servant of the friary, or the superior of the friar, is called not a superior, but a guardian. His job is to guard the life, to protect the life of the brothers as one who serves. He's the watchman over the life to make sure the life is lived. And he does that not to lord it over the brothers. He does it as a service to the brothers so he can help the brothers live more freely the gospel they professed. When St. Francis gave us this life, he called us friars minor, minor, lesser brothers. Now, he was, in fact, trying to, you know, connect us to Matthew 25 when uh, our Lord says, what you did to the least of my brothers, you did for me. So to remind us, we're supposed to be the least and anyone who takes care of the friars is taking care of Christ. However, he also wanted us to remember that we were to be the minors and the least of all in society, that uh, if there's someone lower than ourselves, then we need to get lower than them, that we need to be the servants of the servants of God to serve the poor, to serve the needy, to serve those uh, less fortunate, whether that be outside fraternity or in fraternity. Uh, when one is given the responsibility of authority, one is given the responsibility of service. One is given the responsibility of being uh, the one who is to wrap the towel around one's waist and wash the feet of everyone else. We are called to be foot washers, and we should not be wrestling over power. We should be wrestling over the towel and the water jug, wrestling over who's going to wash the other's feet, trying to fight to get to the bottom of the pile, because we're called to be lesser, we're called to be least, we're called to be servants, like our Lord and Savior.